This is what a modern seismometer looks like. It's devices like these that measure earthquakes. A textbook might show you a pen writing on a rolling drum of paper, but that's not really how we do it anymore. This is what they look like on the inside. Seismometers come in different sizes, specialized for different functions, but they work in the same basic principles. A seismometer is what we call an inertial sensor. That means that it records any vibration or jolt that disturbs it from being perfectly at rest. To do seismology, you want to be able to measure that in all three dimensions, because knowing whether a seismic wave first jolts you up or to the east is the kind of thing that allows us to study how a fault moved in an earthquake or to image the interior of the Earth like a medical CT scan images your body. Up here is some brains, but the three sensors down here work like a much, much more sensitive version of the accelerometer in your phone. There's usually a tiny movable mass and some electronics that register a voltage change whenever the mass moves one way or the other, like when it shakes during an earthquake. This thing is so sensitive that it can measure earthquakes that happened on the other side of the world, which you would never notice yourself. In fact, seismometers like these in the middle of a continent will constantly detect some subtle background noise that's actually caused by ocean waves washing up on the coast. We can even measure a gradual increase of that noise over decades because of climate change. So yeah, there's some serious engineering in there.